hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another brand new playlist but it is also a part of react uh, redux typescript i'm in react typescript and tailwind we are talking already in a existing playlist what i want to do in this playlist specifically is i want to talk about react redux the recent changes rtk query redux toolkit i mean everything the new enhancement which has happened in the redux world recently so we will talk about redux toolkit so uh, this is going to be not a big playlist it's going to be around 10 videos and what we are going to do is first we will talk about what is the current how we are writing current react redux and if you wanted to use redux toolkit then how you should use it and if you wanted to use rtk query then how you can use it and we will also add the flavor of the typescript in this uh, in, in the examples which we are going to talk about so all these videos will also go in the playlist of the react typescript react typescript tailwind and the master react course okay but if you want to separately you want to look into uh, react redux and react redux advanced concept then you can actually look into this playlist i'm not going to teach how redux works because that i have already covered in the detailed sessions in the master course of react okay that also i will add a uh, link in the description of this video my target here in this video is talk about redux toolkit in just uh, introductory video i will talk about simple uh, how redux works right we already know because if you are writing react redux application then you are already aware that how redux works and how Re react redux works together here we will just see what is the need of redux toolkit how we can use it what is rtk query I mean, there are a couple of enhancements has been done because not and not everybody liked uh, the implementation of Redux. It's like too much code. Sometimes we are writing uh, too much actions. There should be a way to handle the async behavior, either using uh, Thunk or Saga and a couple of middlewares introduced. So I think now in the Redux toolkit, everything is combined. You don't need to look for the additional library. Uh, the immutability is, has been taken care by Redux toolkit earlier whenever you are writing a reducer whenever you are writing reducer you always need to write a code in such a way that you do not mutate the state you should always create a new state always create a clone of the object and then change the uh, properties and return the state okay all those things we have to take care so uh, there were recently a lot of enhancements and now we can actually take the advantage by creating the slice where you can combine everything the initial state the actions and the reducers so those are a lot of good uh, set of enhancement has been done that we will go through first we will talk about the the vanilla react redux how we were writing then we will understand on top of that example that how we can use uh, redux toolkit there to improve that example okay uh, let's get started so in this playlist it's all about react redux if you have any questions just uh, add a comment okay if you particularly want to learn how react redux works then this is not the video i, I will attach uh, the playlist link and you can check out the react redux there okay so let's uh, get started so this example is kind of a partially done because I'm not going to, I don't want to write the React Redux code. Here we are importing React, React DOM, React Redux, React, uh, React Redux, Redux, and Redux Thunk. This is the middleware, and Redux is a library, and React Redux is a bridge between Redux and the React components. And I just wanted to write a simple app. What it, the app should do is, it should be able to fetch the list of posts, right, and the list of comments from some API, okay? How it is going to look like uh, we are going to add a router so this is our app component if we go to app component here we do have new bar and hello instead of this we are going to display uh, three different pages in the whole application one is the dashboard page one is the post and so it's like what what i'm going to do in summary is i do have a mock api mock api which gives me list of posts and there is an api endpoint which gives me post by id i mean you pass the id and i will give you the detail about the post so i wanted to just 
Use these both the API endpoints and I wanted to create a single page app using React Router DOM and also wanted to use Redux with this. So I already have a setup of the routing. I just need to add the routes here and I think I already have the components created and the path for this like let them, let's say this is the dashboard. This is the landing page for our application. I will just declare the component and here I will also import the dashboard component. Similarly, okay, I will import them one by one. This is first route, this is second and this is third. Second route will be the posts and it will be post page. This is a dashboard page. And another ID, another page will be a single post page, page, right? Where we are actually saying, okay, when you click on to this, I will pass the ID as a route parameter. And here, user can see the detail of a single post. So this is the post page. We can see just a basic simple routing. And now we need to import all this component. So we can simply say import our dashboard page from the kind of components are already there uh, this is the dashboard so in the inside the pages i think i do have a dashboard page okay then i will just copy this three times we have post page single post page These kind of things also you might have already done many times. Components post and this is single post page. So this also we are getting from component and this we are going to get from single post page. Okay, routing looks fine. When you click on to the dashboard, you should be able to see the home page. Now how the react redux works we need to create a store we need to create a reducers we need to create actions these are the three core building blocks of a redux right so we'll write actions actions will be okay fetch post fetch post by id uh, fetch comments reducers will be the the post reducer comments reducer and we will create a store store can be created by passing the root reducer and the middleware so that we are doing here we are calling create store we are passing root reducer and we are passing the middleware thumb because we are we need to make a sync api call to get the post get the post by id to fetch the comments so i'm using thunk redux thunk as a middleware so you can see this is the middleware i'm talking about whenever a request goes to the reducer which has the sync call because redux is purely synchronous it does not understand any asynchronous javascript behavior so what we need to do if there is an action which involves the api call or side effect what we need to do we need to resolve that promise we need to resolve that async call before we send that call to the reducer and that job is done by redux promise redux thang sagas and all these middlewares we are using that is doing that okay so middleware will make an api call get the data and resolve the promise and then send the request to the reducer so we will write two folders here, create a directory, we have actions and we will write one more thing is reducer. Okay, so you can see we are also exporting, getting the root reducer from reducers folder. Okay, so we have reducers. Now we will write our all the reducers which we need. Before that, let's create actions. Actions means uh, some actions which the UI need. Let's say on the posts page, uh, go to app.js and inside the post page, we might be doing a fetch call for all the posts. So this is our component, post page. Okay. Here is our dashboard page. So this is a post page. And what we are doing in the post page, 
let's see if we have imported correctly it is pages so it should be a post page and this is also a pages and it is a single post page so post page here we will be actually making an api call we are using uh, the simple map state to props map dispatch to props the, the legacy way of using the redux right we can also use hooks like uh, uh, use dispatch and use selector hook those hooks are available through them we don't need to map we need to we don't need to make this component as a higher order component for now that this is fine we are using use effect hook we are making fetch post call so fetch post is we need to define inside actions so first we will start with actions so in actions we have to create all the actions let's say post actions so inside actions create a new file post actions.js and when, once we write post actions you will remember okay this is how we used to do the redux so export const get post now this is a sync call this can either be a successful or either can fail right so i can create i will create two versions of this get post success get post failure okay and then we will dispatch these actions to the reducer okay now if we talk about the the main score method that core method is export const fetch post and it is taking id okay for this post so i need to fetch the id so here we are talking about all the posts so let's make it plural and here i'm talking about getting all the posts okay so get posts and here i will i will be calling fetch posts and we don't need id for that i mean we will need id when we are fetching a single post okay and here we are using redux thunk we need to we need to write a callback function we need to write an error function which is using dispatch uh async dispatch i mean we can use simple arrow function return async dispatch and this is async export function fetch post and now inside this we can actually dispatch all the different kind of actions dispatch first is get posts so this method we need to define this is like actions now there will be three actions get post get post success get post failure right so three actions we can define here get posts first action then we will make an api call and then if there is a success then call a success if there is a failure then call a failure same way we are going to define all our actions this is like a consistent okay here if this is an error dispatch get post failure okay if this is successful i mean we will just write some code to make the api call then we will just pass get post success and we will also pass the data which we received from the api call here we will make our api call const response equal to await fetch we can use fetch api we don't need to include the any uh, exios library because fetch is available at the client side so this is the json placeholder api just give me a sec i will copy this one okay and we just need to await for resolving the response so here const data equal to await 
response.json and we will get the data and same data we are passing to our get post, uh, get post success so same kind of logic we will be writing when we wanted to fetch a single post post action.js and same thing like if you wanted to get all the comments in the comments also i will create another file comments action dot js we will change couple of things okay posts will co become comments all those things but uh, th these actions will go to the reducer if we talk about posts actions for this one we will write the reducer and for in the same way we will populate the redux state for the posts single post and for the comments okay now we are done with the actions we are using Redux Tunk here. We are dispatching. So these are like sequential dispatch of different actions. First, we are uh, we are initializing. Okay, here in this particular case, we can initialize the loading state true, and then if it is success, loading false. Set the data. If this is failure, loading false. Set the error data. Okay, come on, shift P. I think there should be a way to format or okay. When you save it it automatically formats the code so this is good now we need to write post action i mean the single post and then we will write the reducers post action is kind of similar here we are talking about the single post by id so just remove the s and the actions will be that this is the type right which we are going to send to the reducer so get post get post success just remove the s and then we are good so fetch single post and we need to pass the id and then get post here we can pass the id and make this expression in dynamic So here get post success get post failure and here this is fine okay this is for a single post now let's go come back to the reducer in the reducer we used to create a root reducer and then we used to combine all the reducers together right so first we will create post reducer.js then we have another reducer is posts s and let's create index.js where we will combine both the reducer and there is one more comments reducer.js okay the story is simple from the index we have to export the root reducer so if you remember we used to import the combined reducer from Redux. So here we can import combined reducer and then we can import the reducer definition. Let's say I'm creating post reducer from posts reducer and then here I can say I'm exporting root reducer by combining all the reducers together and here I will expose the JSON object tree. This is posts will map to the posts reducer. Okay and then I can just do export default root reducer and then in the we can import this we can create a store. Similarly I can import the other things like okay I need to import the post reducer then there is a comments reducer this is coming from comments 
so here this is a post this is a single post and then there is a comment so this will be mapped with a comments reducer this will be mapped with a single post reducer okay and we are good okay this is need in the caps I mean we could import it we could have imported in the camel case now uh, we are export uh, we are exporting this now the rest of the thing is we already have the store we are creating the store from the root reducer so we need to write the reducer definitions now like the post reducer so there will be initial state and then based on whatever the actions we are getting there will be next state import everything as actions from we need to get a couple of things from actions so i'm talking about the post actions right now and here my initial state is initial state for posts is loading is false now you can put whatever you want inside the redux state as errors false and the posts i am initializing i am initializing as an empty object for posts it should be an array i guess we are doing some mistake okay so we are inside a posts reducer and then we can create export default uh, function posts reducer this function will take two things state is initialized with initial state and then action we are passing and based on that we will trigger we will take action like what should be the new state so every time we create a switch block and based on action dot type we take our action so if case is actions actions uh, this is actions okay you need to import this if case is actions dot get posts what should be the the new state here we need to take care about the immutability so what we do is we spread the current state and then we said okay loading is true in this particular case because the fetch has started then we have cases actions dot get post success get post success in that particular case we will return the state and here the posts will become action dot payload loading will become false has error will become null As, okay it's a boolean i mean we can have a null or object or a boolean why it is becoming a staircase now we can also add a failure or the default case i think we need to add a default case that's why it is showing all these warnings first add a default case in that particular case return the state we have okay then we have another case is another case we have is actions dot get post failure in this case we will just whatever is the state loading is obviously false has errors becomes true you can also populate the error object if you want but this is a kind of redux state we have reducers we have written right same way we have to do it for a single post uh, post reducer here i need to get the actions from the post initial state is the single post object post reducer and here the state will be a little different actions dot get post 
it should be get post failure uh, let's go to post actions get post failure why the failure is not coming let's see okay so this is how it is it's about a single post so we'll just populate only single post object okay this is about post reducer this is about all the posts we have in the system everything is indented now everything looks good similarly we can add the the comments reducer in the comments reducer we are talking about the comments I think we also have added the comment section. Okay, we need to change a little bit inside the comment sections. So here inside the comment section, it will be inside instead of get posts. Okay, it will be comments. We can just try replacing things. If it works. Okay, why it is not try able to find it? Yes, we can replace all these things. So get comments, get comment success failure, and also we need to replace this with comments. I mean, it's uh, quick, that's why I'm doing it. And then we just do the cleanup. I think we have added additional S, get comment success. Fetch comments okay now this is clear we got all the comments get comment success failure get comment and here instead of this it should be and we need to pass the post ID because here we are passing here we are trying to get the comments of a particular post so comments of a post id i mean if we go and check this json placeholder api there we can get it it's post id equals to post id and this is the dynamic expression okay we need dollar now this looks fine comments post id so we are getting the comments of a single post on the the detail page about a particular post post detail page so you need to pass the post id in the fetch comments okay now we can write the reducer now and reducer is a kind of simple so i will just clone the reducers we have created till now it's a comments array so you can copy the post reducer build your comments reducer and paste it here it is a comments as an array get comments get comment success get comments failure and based on that we have populated the data that's it now let's take a look on to our components and the pages so this is our demo very simple i didn't do much code change this is what it is right and i mean the components are already created i don't need to, we don't need to write it it's all about showing the get the data inside these components so dashboard page post page fetch all the posts and pass all the posts and pass the data to the post component it's all about rendering all the posts uh, creating higher order components like mapping the state to the props and a dispatch to the props so this is a single post page that is a post page in single post page first of all getting the data from the routes so here we are getting the data from the routes and we are passing okay this is the id this is the id for which you have to make an api call fetch comments fetch post for this particular post id that we are getting from the match dot params so right match is the property of router and here we are actually getting the data from the redux state all the single post all the comments of that single post the loading has error and all 
So this is all about the quick overview like how we were writing the Redux and this is the overall state and we can see all the different actions we are triggering. Like a little bit zoom like get post, get post success. So whenever you reload this page, what is the initial call you will see only get posts dashboard, right? Uh, let's go to the landing page, which is list of all the posts. In that case, you will see a first call which is being sent to fetch all the posts, get post, get post success, right? And then when I click on view post, there will be two things, get post by ID and get post comments. So this is get comments, get post, and then the success methods of a single post, success method of a single comment. Okay, and then it will populate the Redux state. This is like the huge Redux state you are getting. You can do time travel debugging and all those things which you are already aware. This is the initial state, next state, get comments based on the whatever the state, the state is getting updated. Okay, this is all about the Redux. The old way of uh, dealing with Redux, writing a lot of uh, code. Like, I mean, now I'm using these huge selectors. I'm not getting the state. Using map state to props and map dispatch to props. You can use use dispatch and use selector from React Redux. Those are kind of hooks which you can use with the class based components and can make your code look nicer. Okay, uh, thanks everyone. So in the next video, we will see the, the React Redux toolkit.